Welcome you all once again in a new lecture series that is a transamination and its mechanism. As we have already discussed transamination in previous lecture, so here we are going to discuss mechanism in a big detail. Now here you can see that this is a transamination reaction where there is a transfer of amino group from this alanine to alpha ketoglutarate. And here we have a coenzyme PLP and there is a formation of pyruvate and glutamates. So this is a transamination reaction and what is the exact mechanism of this transamination? How it takes place? We will discuss here. Now here you can see that this is an enzyme where there is a lysine residue of this enzyme. As we know that like this enzyme, it is a polymer of amino acid and which is linked to the, which contains this lysine residue. So this lysine residue, its epsilon amino group, it is a linked with the coenzyme that is a pyridoxal phosphate. And here this PLP acts as a coenzyme for the activity and this enzyme, it may be HGOT, HGPT or amino transferase. So HGOT, it means it is a serum glutamate, oxaloacetate transaminase or HGPT means it's the serum glutamate, pyruvate transaminase. So, so to this enzyme, we have a coenzyme and this is nothing but a PLP. So it is called as a pyridoxal phosphate. Now, what is the exact mechanism? So here it is a ping pong bye-bye mechanism where you can see that there is an entry of substrate, it's not at a one time. So here you can see that entry of substrate number one and is it combines with the enzyme and it forms enzyme substrate complex and release of oxaloacetate. Similarly, now here this enzyme is released and there is a entry of second substrate and here it is alpha ketoglutarate. There is, there is a formation of enzyme substrate complex and there is a release of glutamate. So here the transfer of amino group from aspartate to alpha ketoglutarate through so this mechanism. This mechanism is called as a ping pong bye bye mechanism. And here you can see that again instead of aspartate you can introduce your alanine. So if alanine is entering there is a formation of pyruvate and conversion of alpha ketoglutarate to glutamate. Okay. Now here you can see that this is a PLP that is a pyridoxal phosphate and this is a doxal why because there is a aldehyde group that's why it is called as a pyridoxal phosphate. Now here you can see that there is an entry of first substrate and this substrate is a aspartate. Now here you can see this is a aldehyde structure. This structure is a aldehyde structure and here you can see that the aldehyde that is CHO group is here where the O is replaced by nitrogen and structure name is a aldehyde. Now this aldehyde it undergoes tautomerization where there is a transfer of the hydrogen from the carbon of aspartate to this aldehyde part that is a car the carbon which is a uh, which was previously the aldehyde part so here there is a transfer of hydrogen from aspartate carbon to the aldehyde part of the this uh, aldehyde and so that here this aldehyde get converted into ketamine so here you can see this is a ketamine now this ketamine here it undergoes the next reaction and there is the release of oxaloacetate. Now, after release of oxaloacetate, here you can see there is a formation of pyridoxamine. So why it is called as pyridoxamine? Where you can see that here there is a amino group. Here it is a aldehyde group and here there is a amino group is attached. That's why it is called as a pyridoxamine. Now you can see that this pyridoxamine it forms ketamine and the entry of second substrate is alpha ketoglutarate 
and this alpha ketoglutarate after reacting with the pyridoxamine it gives ketamine and this ketamine it is the same as that of our previous ketamine both are same this and this both are same similarly this ketamine it also undergoes tautomerization to form aldehyde so again we have aldehyde both are same here now here there is a release of our product that is a glutamate and this glutamate it is released here and it is the regeneration of pyridoxal phosphate so here you can see that the entry of substrate and release of product similarly there is again entry of substrate and there is a release of product so here this mechanism is called as a ping pong bye bye mechanism with formation of aldehyde and ketamine along with the tautomerization and here there is a transfer of amino group from the aspartate to alpha ketoglutarate and ultimately it is moved to the move toward the glut toward the this uh, alpha ketoglutarate and formation of glutamates so this mechanism is called as a ping pong bye bye mechanism and this is the uh, how exactly transamination takes place okay so this is all about transamination so while writing you can just write the name the coenzyme the entry of substrate formation of aldehyde then ketamine then tautomerization formation release of oxaloacetate formation of pyridoxamine then entry of alpha ketoglutarate then there is a formation of ketamine again tautomerization again formation of aldehyde and release of glutamate and formation of original pyridoxal phosphate okay this is about a our exact mechanism of transamination so please like share and subscribe my videos thank you